I was quilting this line and I'm stitching in the ditch and as you can see I've missed the ditch. So now I need to unsew that to a point where I can begin stitching again or quilting again. And um, a lot of times when you unpick this thread it will break um, and I found an easy way to make sure that it doesn't do that. Okay, your top, take your top thread, give it a tug, and then you, you can see that how it unlocks, there's a little loop there from the, bob, from the bobbin thread, and, and that unlocks that stitch. Pull your top thread, give it a tug, that unlocks the stitch, and then you can pull in your, and you just keep continuing doing that. Give it a tug so you've got that loop of the bobbin stitch, or the bobbin thread. Oh, there we go. And just keep, you have to, it takes a while, it takes a bit of patience. But you're not tugging on that thread or pulling on that thread and wearing it so that it doesn't break. What you're doing is that because the two stitches interlock when you're stitching or when you're sewing, you're unlocking stitches. And you're just very gently pulling that thread. a little tight. There we go. Just got a couple more stitches to get back where I where I was in the ditch and not on the not on the colored fabric. Nope. Let me see. There I ended up pulling that bobbin thread all the way up that time. One, ah, there we go. No more. And then take that loop, pull the bobbin thread to the top so it doesn't get caught when you start stitching. Or quite start it. There you go. And that didn't break the thread, and you're ready to, to re sew that seam.